Here we are back in Palmanova. You can probably see from the flags flying behind me. Uh, it's a windy day. We had a bit of a storm last night and yesterday. Lots of wind, so there'll be lots of damage on the island. The temperatures have dropped tremendously. As we left home this morning, it was only 17 degrees. So uh, a chilly start to the day for us here in Palmanova. So here we are on the beach in Palmanova. It's the 26th of September, so it's still reasonably high season here in Palmanova, but it's, uh, it's a cool day. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, but I think I'm the only person on the beach. And that has to be a first. Not another soul. Just a few seagulls around there. Some boats out. We had a bit of a storm yesterday, uh, but we're in the uh, the calm area. The, the storm was coming from the northwest, uh, and so uh, the sea here is as calm as calm could be. But not a soul on the beach. So yes, it's Saturday the 26th of September, and we're just walking along the promenade. Uh, it is early in the morning, but again, not a soul. It is very, very quiet. This is the Fergus Hotel, which was open up until a week or two ago, uh, but now you can see that's all been closed off. Some of the cafes and bars are open. Uh, here's the one on the beach. Can Blanc is open. Uh, people starting to have their morning coffees. Cappuccino on the other side of the road is open, as is the Col Colmena, the Beehive. Uh, already got a few clients in there. Might stop there for a coffee later. <laughs> There's the beach and the lifeguard raising the flags. Uh, ready and waiting for people to arrive. It's actually warming up now, the sun's coming out. But you probably see in the distance there are some dark clouds around. We're a few spots of rain this morning, uh, but hopefully that'll all just blow away and the temperatures will begin to rise again. So we've just come to the end of the first beach in Palmanova, and uh, we're just going to walk around the headline headland, uh, see what it's like around there. So we're just walking up the path here. Uh, just to look back at that beach, beautiful beach, beautiful clear sea, uh, the wind is beginning to pick up a little though. I was surprised when we saw a lot of yachts out on the sea this morning, uh, they've obviously been moored there for the evening, uh, but we are sheltered from the winds that have been coming from the northwest, so I guess that's why they're, they're here. But there's a lot of boats out there and even more when we uh, just go around this headland. We see quite a lot over by the second beach. I'm just going to cross the bridge. Some steps down there if you wanted to go down to the sea. This is quite a pleasant walk, just going around the headland. Nice views out to the sea. A little bit of a park area here. Uh, that looks as though trees come down in the evening last night with the strong winds that we had. Parts of Palmer were actually closed to pedestrians yesterday. So there's one broken there, another one broken off there, another one down so quite a bit of damage from the storms of yesterday here we come round to the second beach of Palmanova uh, which is just as deserted so on the whole of that beach I can see at the moment only two people a beautiful sandy beach here we are at McDonald's which has got lights on so if they're not open now, I guess they'll be opening a little bit later on. And we continue our walk along the promenade, uh, looking out to a, an empty beach. Uh, just looking at the road across from the beach, 
here's the Hotel Tropico, that's all closed up, and there's a, a mini golf and a few shops. Nothing much is actually open yet. And I have the feeling that a lot is not going to open at all today. So just in looking down at the beach here, through the trees, uh, the Chiringuito on the beach there, and towards the end where the cafe is opening up, I guess. Very, very quiet today. Now, this is a, a children's park where we quite often bring our grandchildren uh, and all of the uh, swings and slides and all of the things that they would normally be playing on are now cordoned off. The Covid numbers in Spain are rising dramatically and it's not so bad in Mallorca. Mallorca's uh, not, not as bad as mainland Spain. Madrid seems to be suffering terribly. Uh, but one of the actions they're taking here is to close children's parks. Uh, and so children can't come here and enjoy any of these parks anymore. This is a really strange sight for any time of the year, but 26th of September to see Palmanova Beach absolutely empty is incredible. And looking around here, we've got the Santa Lucia Hotel, which uh, did open for a short while during the summer. Uh, many British tourists go to the Santa Lucia, uh, but this year uh, it's actually closed very early, so no, no residents there today. Now the boat's moored in this bay, I'm just coming round to the second beach in Palma Nova. Uh, again, this is the San Matias beach and uh, it is totally deserted. Here's the Santa Lucia Hotel, uh, closed up now, pools are beginning to empty. Uh, hopefully have a much better year next year. So this is the San Matias beach in Palma Nova and again I'm the only person on the beach on a Saturday morning on the 26th of September and as you can see in front of me they've started to take down the sunshades, the poles are just now lying on the the beach, they'll be cleared off later on in the day I guess. Uh, so they look as though they're closing up for the winter. <laughs> And there's the Santa Lucia. Still looking splendid, but no clients. Another promenade with virtually no people. This is the Comodoro Playa Hotel, which was one of the first to open this season. And it actually looks as though it's still open. So it's good to see that uh, people can still come here and have a holiday in Palma Nova. So we leave Palma Nova and we're going to head off towards Magaluf. So we're making our way back now to the car. Uh, beach is still deserted, it's 11.30ish now uh, and the promenade is still pretty much deserted. Not very many people out this morning at all. And if you can see just how clear the water is here Beautiful. And is just going to do a little bit of shopping. She's looking for some flip-flops. So, so there is a shop open across the road. Uh, and she sent me off walking along the promenade in Palma Nova. Uh, still very few people out, but actually it is beginning to come alive a little bit. Shops are coming, becoming open. And we're seeing a few people walking along. Uh, so looking up a little bit. So it's heading towards midday now and the sun's well up uh, and the beach is still pretty much deserted on this side looking towards the Santa Lucia Hotel. I can see one or two people in the sea but literally one or two people in the sea and there's one or two people down there sitting on the sand and uh, we've got some beach volleyball players also out here.